Good afternoon again. Today is the 28 days of January 2024. Time is moving very fast. Oh, what amazing God we have. May the glory of God surround us. All right. I am now about to break the word before I do so. I'm going to pray. Loving God, thank you this morning, this afternoon, to call in your name of your way and your mercy. Put myself aside and take over every being of me through the power of your Holy Spirit. And may your loved ones, O oh God, the word will flourish in their hearts and bring good taste to the hearers and that they will live soberly for you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. <clears throat> Jesus promises the Holy Spirit. John 14 verse 15 says, If you love me, you will obey what I command. And this is coming from the cross reference, the NIV Bible. John 15 verse 10. If you obey my commands, you will remain in my love just as I have obeyed my father's commands and remain in his love. And I will ask the father and he will give you another counselor to be with you forever. And the counselor is the Holy Spirit. When the counselor comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth, who goes out from the Father, he will testify about me. John 16, 7. But I tell you the truth. It is for your good that I am going away. Unless I go away, the Counselor will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. John 14, verse 17. The spirit of truth, the world cannot accept him because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him for he lives with you and will be in you. John 14, 13. But when he, the spirit of truth, comes, he will guide you into all truth. He will not speak on his own. He will speak only what he hears. And he will tell you what is yet to come. John 14, 18. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. Before long, the world will not see me anymore. But you will see me because I live. You also will live. John 6 verse 57. Just as the living Father sent me and I live because of the Father, so the one who feeds on me will live because of me. John 14 20. On that day you will realize that I am in my Father, and you are in me, and I am in you. John 14, 21. Whoever has my commands and obey them, he is the one who loves me. He who loves me will be love of my Father, and I too will love him and show myself to him. John 5, 3. This is love for God to obey his commands and his commands are not burdensome. John 14, 22. Then Judas, not Judas Ichariot, said, But Lord, why do you intend to show yourself to us and not to the world. Luke 6.16 6, Judas the son of James and Judas the chariot who become the traitor. So Judas is the one who is the betrayer 
and he is the one who grabbed the money bag with the 30 pieces of silver and it has no use to him so it, he becomes burnout and what he has to do he run and he throw it straight back into the church and run and hang himself straight up into a tree and his belly got straight out of him and so the money that he throw into the church he said we don't want no blood money we don't want no blood money this is blood money so they never used the blood money into the church but they used it to bury dead all right so dead has no more share on earth they are there waiting until their terms come when christ would have returned okay and so now john 14 23 jesus replied if anyone loves me he will obey my teaching my father will love him and we will come to him and make our home with him revelation 3 20 here i am i stand at the door and knock if anyone hears my voice and opens the door i will come in and eat with him and he with me and the eating is the word of god john 14 24 he who does not love me will not obey my teaching those words you hear are not my own they belong to the father who sent me john 14 26 but the counselor the holy spirit whom the father will send in my name will teach you all things and will remind you of everything i have said to you john 16 7 but i tell you the truth it is for your good that i am going away unless i go away the counselor will not come to you but if i go i will send him to you right john 16 13 but when he the spirit of truth comes he will guide you into all truth he will not speak on his own he will speak only what he hears and he will tell you what is yet to come first john 2 27 as for you the anointing you receive from him remains in you and you do not need anyone to teach you but as his anointing teaches you about all things and as that anointing is real not counterfeit just as it has taught you remain in him john 14 27 peace i leave with you my peace i give you i do not give to you as the world gives do not let your heart be troubled and do not be afraid philippians 4 verse 7 and the peace of god which passes sorry i'm thinking of the other verse sorry and the peace of god which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in christ jesus oh, what a beautiful word the counselor of jesus christ the holy spirit that god is going to give us that will lead us into our truth that will teach us and even show us things to come oh what amazing god we have serve that true and living god loving father we thank you to call in your name thank you for your blessed hope we thank you for everything and we thank you for the promise of the holy counselor that you are going to give unto us and may you bless us with that holy spirit through the power of yours and keep us alive and well and help us so god that when you should have come we will caught up to meet you in heaven because our name would have been saved written in the lamb's book of life Hear my cry, O oh God, 
Make haste to help. Bless all your people. Bless them with love. Bless them with food. Bless them with everything. Health, O oh God. Those who need bath, bless them with it, O oh God. Those who are sick and can't help themselves, send help, O oh God. Through the power of your Holy Spirit, Father God, have mercy. Persons that are drowned in, restore their life. Send help quick and fast, O oh God. Save them from the drowned in water, O oh God. Make haste, make no tarrant. Someone is about to get burned. O oh God, still it and let it not be happen through the power of your Holy Spirit. Terminate your loving us, O oh God. Help us to be true to one another. Help us to have love towards one another. O oh Lord, hear my cry. You are coming back for people that are living a righteous life for you. Have your way with us, we pray, O oh God. Touch every heart. Touch all people around the world. Lord, please bless them. Help them to learn well in school that are studying, in college and everywhere they are, university, in school, dear Jesus. Bless them educationally and that they will come out successful and that they will remember you, the true God, the creator, to call upon your name and be saved. May the glory of your surround us and may you forgive us of all our sins and unrighteousness. Bless all my children them. Keep them alive and well. Germinate your love in them. Run them down with your Holy Spirit, O oh God. Don't stop until they give their life entirely to you. And those that are on the way, O oh God, may they continue in your path. And bless them that they will slip not nor slide away out of your hand. But they will even stand with you even greater and better. Have mercy upon me and my ministry, dear Jesus. Father God, you said when you called me to this ministry, you did not give it to me yet. But you said when you called me to this ministry, I must get my family together, dear God. Father God, I don't have any space right now with my home. I don't even have what to start with them, dear Jesus. So I pray that you just bless the way. Even though, Lord, just hear my cry, please. And may you answer my prayer. And if it even to get goods to build something, dear God, so that person can be seated on it. But where is the space, oh God? Where is the space? Have your way and your mercy upon us, please, my God. Bless you and answer my cry to your Holy Spirit. And take over everything and over my entire being. Bless you and my cry. In Jesus' name I pray with thanks. Amen. God bless you all. Have a good day. God surround your blessing.